Hello and welcome back to Mars. I'm Mick. We're playing Stationeers. Now we are still trying to terraform Mars, so not making a great deal of progress. Um, now we've built our torture chamber upstairs for our plant genetics. Um, I've put up a few walls and stuff in between episodes just to try and move it along a little bit. Um, so there we go, got some walls up, some windows up. This will be my main entrance room here and I'll have my experiment chambers in there. Um, so I'll need to put uh, plants and stuff in there. And probably get an airlock on there. I don't really need an airlock. I'll sort of get a supply of gas and everything in there, but uh, yeah, I'll have to put an airlock or something on there. Maybe close a whole lot in. Uh, yeah, not far off getting that closed in. I could probably do that. Uh, get some atmospherics up here and get it going. Uh, set up my suits. I've got an airlock there. Uh, what I've really got to do is put a roof on this and maybe another airlock in there for the time being. I could pressurise a whole lot. But, uh, you know, stuff happens. Now, I have noticed a bit of a problem with my mushroom room is that the air conditioner kept changing, kept switching off and kept changing temperature because I can actually operate it through the door. And whenever I push the button here, it actually changes the air conditioner. So um, I have to be careful coming in and out of here. Um, so, yeah, don't put your air conditioners near your doors, people. But I, ha I have extended the mushroom farm and got lots and lots of mushrooms in there. All up. So, uh, yeah, there's a couple of thousand iron in there now. Uh, but we've still got plenty of water, so I might have to adjust that airlock. So uh, you actually come in through here and actually exit through that wall into the greenhouse, the shroom room, and uh, see how we go from there. But uh, that's coming along nicely. Uh, still, I think it's still completely useless because uh, CO2 is 19.5%. Uh, and look at it go! Even with all those shrooms there, it's taken... Yeah, I, I, I don't think mushrooms are a good way to produce CO2. But um, I'll belligerently persist with it and uh, see how we go. Uh, now, carefully. Uh, yeah, because the, uh, the room was sort of changing to 35 degrees. You come in and say, what the hell's happened? All the air conditioner switched off. Yeah, it's because I can use a button through the door. Whoopsies. Um, right. Now we can switch the rockets back on. And I do have to change the way I unload these rockets because three of them are kind of overwhelming my pro uh, processing abilities here. But um, I really do have to get my gas processing underway pretty good soon because. Uh, they were not unloading the rockets very well. I am getting an awful lot of gas in here quicker than I can use it. Now the oxygen is, of course, being dumped now. The hydrogen I don't want to dump. So I'm going to have to do something with that. Now the nitrolyzers are not using enough hydrogen to actually make it worthwhile. Uh, See, so they're just... I don't have, can't make nitrous quick enough to actually burn it all that way. So I may have to put in another burner and burn you with the hydrogen and um, but I don't want to release the pollutants so I may have to start storing the pollutants so I'll create a big pollutant farm down here to store it all and um, I'll need to put some coolers in there so some radiators, I'll have to put something uh, some active vents outside that will suck in gas, well I do have active vents down in the tunnel, I could use them they can suck in uh, cold gas through a heat exchanger to cool that down. So I need to swap them over to uh, need to swap them over for the insulated tanks. I don't know if I want hot tanks in the base. Uh, okay, so we'll be making a heap of insulated tanks, a heap of insulated pipes. Uh, I shall need another burner, um, and uh, 
Let's see how we go. Uh, I thought I had insulated tanks. I've got two. I shall need more than that. Uh, right. So I shall want some uh, insulated tanks, a heap of steel and silicon. Well, fortunately, um, I can do that. Uh, you. Come on. Put that away. You're obsessed with that thing. Uh, so, I probably need some more silicon. This is going to use a crap ton of that. Uh, go. Uh, you. 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 So, uh, tanks. I shall need them. I shall need a furnace to ignite the thing. And then I can shut that off. Uh, so I shall need a furnace. So I'll need to be able to use that. Um, yeah, water pipes I don't need because burning hydrogen and oxygen doesn't produce water. Everyone knows that. Um, one of them. Ah, uh, so I can switch that off. I shall need the insulated pipes, or the insulated pipe single. Ah, uh, some frames. I shall need some tanks. I shall need to be able to filter out the CO2. Uh, so I can just dump the CO2 straight away. I shall need the heat exchanger. Now, I'm pretty sure I got one of them from my junk, my, my useful stuff rocket. Uh, I sure want lots of insulated pipes, lots of insulated pipes, lots of insulated tanks. Your copper. Ah, oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you can't have used all that steel and silicon yet. That's the other one I didn't have enough of. Right, so I shall need more of them. Now, I shall, I don't need a big combustion tank like that one, so I'll probably just put there a small one. Um, uh, I probably want to put it over near the storage. I've got a dump pipe where I can put in the CO2. Uh, so I have to bring the oxygen and the hydrogen over here. And I'll need a bit of space because this one will be running constantly. So, well, until I run out of gas. So, I'll probably need a heap of uh, the extractors on it. So, I'll leave the fuel in the tank. Okay. Right. It's okay. I want the control. Uh, which, of course, is secret code for not under control. This is going to take a fair bit. Okay, so insulate the tank and some space. Now I think I'm still a fair way away from the from the wall, the uh, outside thingy. So I need space in there for a burner and probably a crap ton of extractors. Uh, off. Uh, now I've got frames. I have got frames. Um, right, so I'll need a heap of extractors and fuel will have to come in over in here. So I've put the combustor over here and I'll figure something out for the furnace. Uh, right. Come on. 
Pick it up. Right. Okay, so uh, let's go a bit more on the, the digging. Yeah, can't have that in there. Get out ice. Right, so I shall want something there to mount my furnace. And I shall want my other insulated tank for the combustor. A small one will do. I can probably just put you there. Uh, and lay all the pipes. Rockets are back already. Not this one, not this one. Nah. Ah, uh, right. Now. I shall need you. Put that away. You can melt there. Um, melt over there then. Alright, uh, I want, 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 want tanks. Three. Oh wow. Um, okay. Uh, grab me some pipes then. Oh, silicon. Oh, the one I've run out of. Uh, <coughs> Right. This is Here we go. A couple more because I guess they'll be chewing through a lot of them. Uh. Right. Excellent. And some iron sheets for the furnace. And once again, you're just going to need to have the furnace there to ignite it. And once it's been ig ignit, that's a word, uh, I can just switch the thing off. Um, that'll do us. And reach. Yep. Right. I just need that, and then uh, just enough pipes to so I can disconnect that. All right. right. Like that, I can then put in my valve. So I can shut the thing off after I've ignited it. And she'll need to connect up the tank. Oh, the mixer, that's what I'll need as well. Uh, exchange heaps of pipes. Uh, so I've got to connect it to the cold gas downstairs. Right. Or just the intake. I'm not using it. Oh, you may as well switch off that cold gas thing outside. Um, because it's not being used at all. Uh, right. Now I forgot my mixer again. So I'll need the pipes to bring the hydrogen, the oxygen. Uh, oops. <laughs> I'm not getting used to that sound. Um, So I'll need a, 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 a controller for that. 
Yep. I can mount stuff on it. Um, can still reach that. That's all right. All right. So tank. So I need mixer. Um, need fuel lines. I need to replace this pipe. Uh, well, there's a pipe I needed. Right. Now, I think I shall just go steal a couple of atmospheric devices. Because you two only switch on every now and then. So, uh, having you there full time is probably not the most useful thing. Uh, they're not the filters I will need. The carbon dioxide will blow straight out. We'll hook to the waste pipe. Uh, so I'll need separate extractors for both. So uh, you go around that way. So if I've got you, um, turn around, go. And if right, one, two, so if I put you there and make you the volatile one, uh, not volatile, so the pollutants, the volatile stay in there, uh, pollutant. Uh, 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 okay, one pollutant, except for the other one. Right. Uh. <laughs> what? Not that one. Okay, we're safe. See, the, the, the health and safety stuff is working. And you stopped. Uh, silicon and steel. I'll get me my mixer. Then you can go back to pipes. And I shall want a housing from you if we had some copper. Right, and I, I'll need you. Um, I may as well just chuck more in there because I'm going to need more of those pipes. Uh, right. Yeah, so I'll need more tanks. Uh, I need a sensor to put on there to control my combustion. Ah. Uh, nope. Uh, nope. That one. Yeah. Nope. Oh, come on. There we go. Put you that way. That'll be better for piping uh, pipes. Uh, you can go to there. So oxygen and hydrogen. I need to go to there somewhere. So better put up some frames so the roof doesn't cave in. Um, okay. All right. Now, you are to there. You shall need to hook into a filter out. So I need to hook in you back to. I could move them back a bit. That might save a bit of pipe. 
Um, uh, oh, okay, that's a pipe. Um, right, so I want to put on oxygen and hydrogen. Uh, oxygen I can put over easy, hydrogen I can bring up over the top there, apart from the oxygen and all the other pipes are in the way. Uh, I can bring it back that way and then across. Okay, that's a plan. Right, uh, time to run out of these pipes. Uh, up, across up there and over the top. Right. Uh, and oh, the furnace is in the way. Oh, cock. Uh, radio. There we go. You don't mess with me, pipe layout. Uh, yeah. Yeah, you can go that way. You can go over the top. I got more of them. And more of them. Good. And more of them. I'm going to hook up the cold gas or the cold intake from downstairs and uh, the analyzer. Now, of course, my useful stuff. Rocket gave me one of them, I remember. There we go. See? In the filing system. Now, uh, you can go on to there. Uh, where's my spanner going? You will look into here. Uh, you. to you. Um, I probably need one, two, three. I shall need uh, one, two, three there. And I don't know how many of them I'm going to need, but I guess we'll find out. Um, I'm guessing six, but that is just a guess without any experimentation, so we'll find out. Right. Now, if my not calculations are correct, Ah, oh, shit. Um, no, that's not right. The carbon dioxide ones want to hook up to that pipe. Uh, that's okay. 
that's why I left that pipe out that far. So if I can do these ones onto their own manifold. Right, so you, there's the CO2. We'll need to link to that one there. <laughs> and this just all fits in a little bit too neatly. So I must have got something wrong. Uh, you. And do, 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 do. Yeah, got it. Uh, you push that button. Right. So the carbon dioxide will be put straight out. Um, go away. So that will go straight out to the exhaust gas. Uh, these will be hot gas. Uh, so you shall be part of the combustion system. And this shall be our pollutant gas, which we're using brown the same as the rest of it. Um, and I don't have any more colours for an outside gas. Uh, oh well, looks like you go brown as well then. Now that's not confusing that we've got two brown lines there. Uh, oh well. Right, so you connected, you're connected, you're connected. I can put in more of them if I want. Uh, with you and the welder. Right, oh, I've got to cable that up, don't I? So I'll probably need to batch all of them. So I'll need both the data and power connected. Um, I'll need to isolate it, so I need to need a transformer. I could probably take it off that circuit, um, or I could get the main power. I can get main power down there, right? So power cables. So again, I got a transformer from my rocket. Um, Power cables, heavy power cables. I shall need some regular power cables. I shall need um, 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 um. got the transformer. Uh, I've forgotten the other stuff I needed. I can stop carrying that around. You can go towards building a rocket. Three more of them. Don't need you. I said I don't need you. No cuddles. Um, now the chip. Oop. Do I have any spare ones? I do not. Uh, so, build me. Yeah, build me all of them. I won't use them today, but I will use them. Oh, and I've got to build me a heat exchanger as well. I can probably just leave that one running constantly because I think no matter what time of day it is, it's always going to be. Uh, oh, that could be a problem. Um, so no matter what time of day it is, it's always going to be uh, cooler outside. So I can go up power to you, to you, to you, to you. There, okay. Very good. So, you. Uh, down to here. Uh, you. You. 
There. Where's my cutters? No, nope. damn it. <laughs> right, that's you, 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 sensor. Uh, I need to hook up all of this stuff as well. Now, power in. Yep, shit. <laughs> uh, okay. Power in. Power's in. Uh, and Now, I just need to run out of these cables now. Uh, red cable. I can get in here. Uh, yo. Once I get the gas harvesting, uh, I get the uh, gas processing all, all set up and ready to go, I'm then going to have to unload the rockets quicker. And then I'll be uh, have too much gas to process again. Right. We have power. Um, turn it up. We have power. Right. So you're all good. Um, right, so I can plug in more of them, more of them. I just need the chip sensor. Uh, I had to hook up the pipes. I haven't got any fuel in there. Uh, that that might be something I need for for um, combusting is uh, actual fuel and the heat exchanger. Oh shit. Um, the exchanger goes downstairs. Uh, take a couple of them. Um, cables, we're all cabled up. Um, the pipes. The pipes, the pipes are cooling. Oh. Right. Now, um, I get the fuel hooked up. Uh, I want some dials because it's got to be awesome. And you're my dial machine, so I can't get any more dials out of there. Right, now this heat exchanger. Uh, oop. Yep. Uh, you can go in there. You've got power. You've got power. You've got power. Okay. Um. Now. I need to finish off those pipes. The heat exchanger. The heat exchanger. We'll have to connect to this pipe. The brown one. Not that brown one. The other brown one. Follow the colour coding. Uh, so the cold pipe is right down the middle of this one here. So if I just dig... If I bring the cold pipe in here and straight down and avoid that pipe, if we're here down there, 
connect to that pipe and um, just run it in to the exchanger, maybe just just here. Oh, if only I had a plan for this. Would have made things a lot easier. Uh, right. So we needed the cold pipe to come in. Uh, into there, I can take it down through there. Um, yep, that was well planned out. Uh, that'll really do us, won't it? It should be just near the nitrogen pipe. I should be able to find that pretty easy. Nitrogen pipe comes down there. Uh, right, so I want to hook to that pipe. Put the heat exchanger just in there. That'll work for us. And uh, that's not a spanner. Single heat exchanger, why not? Um, oh crap, I'll have to vent that out somewhere, won't I? I can vent that out to the waste pipe. Because this would just be a through and through. I want a continual supply, not not an in and out. So I want that to flow through and I want to hook it into the waste pipe which is that one there. gas coming in here through the heat exchanger and out via that pipe. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, you can go away again. Again. <laughs> uh, gas to gas. You can go into there. Uh, you of course become that brown line, you become that brown line, which is a completely different brown line, and you will become the cold line. I just got to go downstairs and find that one now. And I should have some pipes ready for the fuel line. And we do. Now, where do we get to with that one? So I did get around the bend. You should be finished there now. Which means you can come around to there. Right. That means you are the oxygen line, which I don't think I have connected all the way through. You are the hydrogen line. Yeah, there's the oxygen line there. 
Now, thanks to Elmo's paint network painter, I should now identify which pipe is which. <laughs> Yay! Uh, right, so they're connected. I just <laughs> need to get to. They're going to put down some floors now. Um, uh, yeah, because I've. I wonder why that was throwing an error because I made a change to the. Uh, um, come on, stupid two hands. What sort of a species only has two hands? That's rubbish. Uh, right. So now that should cause you to throw an error. Yeah. And you can keep going there. Right, so I should now have oxygen. Which I do. And of course that dropped the pressure hooking up that pipe. It'll come back. How are you doing? Um, 40. We still got time. Uh, now I need to hook up to that one. Oh, come on, push the right button. Here we go. That should drop the pressure in there. Yep, back to 37. Right, so that's those pipes hooked up. I need to get the cold pipe hooked up and I need my dial. Right, a uh, meter. If I had some iron. Oh, looks mine. Right, now the cold pipe. That was right next to the uh, nitrogen pipe. Let's see if I can find it. So now the nitrogen pipe comes in there. Ah. And down and straight and spanner. Uh, oh, this is just going to immediately vent everything, isn't it? Don't connect to that one just yet. So that's just going to blow out all this gas which I already have at high pressure. Um, maybe a volume pump. Uh, yeah, let's not connect that one straight up. Well, I can at the moment because I don't have... No, the heat exchanger is connected. Um, 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 ooh, almost caused an explosion. Ah, uh, right. So let's not do that. Uh, so that is already set to do that. If I put in a volume pump, say here, now I can hook it up. <laughs> Ooh, that was going to be bad. Right, so if I suddenly hooked a, a high pressure uh, pipe up to something which is um, has an open end, that would have ended badly. It would have blown every, vented that entire tank directly into that room. Uh, well, I suppose it's got the unbreakable door on it at the moment, so it doesn't really matter, but I would have lost all that cold gas. And I want some purple paint. Good. Right, now I could switch them all back on again. Uh, yeah, why not? Uh, they all switch back on again. Ah, dear. Now, volume pump, so I don't explode the whole place. 
and my useful stuff has got me one of them. Right, so oops. Aha, fix that hole in the floor. Get a cable to that smart ass. Ah, oh, shh. <laughs> okay, new plan. Uh. Yeah, that'll cause a bit of a whoosh. That's all right. Now, cable you up. Right. Um, put that away. You be part of that system. And is that it? I got the cooling, got the combusting, got the chip. Um, we got power. You're connected. You're connected. Uh, so we have oxygen on input two. Uh, so I should be able to take you and boom, there we go. We have combustion, so I can switch the furnace off again now. And I have heat. I'm sticking around 2000 Kelvin, so it's certainly a lot colder than the other one. Uh, right, now we just need to automate that thing. And see how we go. Switch you on. You on. We should have. CO2 going outside. To our. Uh, not that pipe. Wait, yes, it is that pipe. Oh, well, that's where everything's getting blown out. And I should have X in there. 2000 degrees. Switch you on. You're going down in temperature, right? Albeit slowly. Now, uh, fix that hole in the floor. Let's start making some gas. Um, now, uh, oh, oh, can't do it yet. I'm still missing a dial. Ta da! There we're good to go. <laughs> uh, plenty of. Well, I've got no idea of telling what that is. Oh, it's hydrogen. Uh, right. Plenty of that. We've got twice as much of that. That's good because we need twice as much in the combustion. Now, um, oh, I'd probably best switch them off or I'm going to bleed the whole thing dry. And I always took a little bit of combustion going. Right, now we need to get this thing going. So we shall blow in gas until we have um, 
say 20 20 megapascals uh, right so she'll need to load from that and that so load from that once it reaches 20 megapascals stop blowing in that right I shall need the uh, I'll probably want to read the output of one of these so I know what pressures in here so I don't overpressurize that tank as well so I shall read you specifically so I'll need to know what you are here's my labeler um, uh, it'll be a pollutant filtration. Oh, let's just give it its chemical symbol. <laughs> yep. Uh, now, so I shall need the sensor, which is the pipe analyzer. Need the mixer, which is the mixer, and I shall need the output, which is the X filtration. Uh, right, yo. And get some floor gratings in here because this is just getting annoying. Don't take the battery out, you idiot. <laughs> right. Uh, clear that. So I shall need the uh, sensor, uh, the mixer, and the uh, tank. No, it's, it's, it's a filtration. We'll use a filtration. Uh, D2. Right, so. Uh, start yield. So we want to switch on the mixer. If, if the sensor, which is a combustion chamber, is less than 20 megapascals, and the X tank, is less than say 30. Uh, right, so load into R0 from the sensor. The pressure uh, set less than 20. Set uh, R0 if R0 is less than 0. If R0 is less than 20,000. My keyboard's over by one key. <laughs> R right. So load into R1 from the filtration. Uh, uh, the output pressure. It's a pressure output, isn't it? Pressure output. Um, uh, set less than so set R1 if R1 is less than 30 megapascals. Uh, so both of them are true. R0 and R1. Save mixer on R0. Right. So I can switch the mixer on. So it has to be both of those. Confirm. Um, let's try jumping back to the start, shall we? Um, export ye. Uh, how we doing? Put ye on for a little bit. And should switch off at 20 megapascals. Boom, we're off. Right. Oh, <laughs> I'm standing next to things that are going to explode, and then I have a rocket take off in the distance. Poo came out. Um. Uh, right. So now, um, I want to set the gas. Uh, mixer make sure my mixer is coming in right because the temperature of these two might not be the same so uh, the mix coming out of the mixer might not be exact so we want to do that so uh, we'll set the mixer value 
Um, so we shall load into R zero from the sensor the ratio of uh, volatiles, vola double I, and load into R one from the sensor the ratio of oxygen. So if we add them together, so R2, R1, R0. So that's the total amount of fuel in there. So we want to reach um, So now we have the oxygen on input 2. So if we have high oxygen, I need a higher setting there, so I need this the uh, right. So now, if I divide the ratio of oxygen, so if uh, I can use R two, so the ratio of oxygen R one divided by the total R two. Um, yeah. We use volatiles. I don't need volatiles anymore. So uh, R zero equal ratio of oxygen divided by the total of those two will give me the ratio of oxygen in the fuel. So if that's high, I need to increase the setting for the volatiles um, because we've got a two to one ratio. If I have 33 percent oxygen, I should need 66. So because because you'll multiply R zero by two, and that should be the setting I need. And I'll have to multiply it by a hundred to get it from a ratio to a setting for that, and save uh, DB setting R zero. Uh, let's put the chip in there. Export you. Why are you changing? Oh, you're burning still. Right, so that um, may or may not be working. Once a setting of 60, but we have more volatiles than we need. So it is trying to turn the volatiles down as it burns. Right, okay, that's fine. Yep, that looks like it's working. Uh, now, I want to switch these things on. So if the pressure in there is not too high, we can switch these things on and extract the gas. And that's all? Okay. Uh, so we shall batch them. So I shall need a um, filtration. So I shall need that number there. Oop. Done. Uh, edit. I shall fine filtration to that so now the filtration system so I shall need to once again copy you um, assuming it doesn't all stall I still want the pressure from the sensor as well. Right, so if the pressure in the combustion chamber, because I don't want to run it completely out, because then I'll have to restart it. So we shall set the pressure in the combustion chamber is greater than. Um, say uh, five megapascals and the pressure in the output is uh, less than 30 
um, I want I want 30 megapascals to be both of them are satisfied so if it satisfies both of those conditions I can then save batch to filtration on uh, zero firm um, put the chip in there export and they switched on nice pressure in there is coming down you are looking for a very low setting so I think we're right I might actually set that one over to the um, uh, save to the mixer setting uh, zero so I think that one's right so I will actually put that I will commit that to uh, you export so you are setting yourself now Looks like I need some more filtration devices. Right, so a couple more atmospheric devices because that is not in any way keeping up with that. And uh, a dial to put on you because I don't have a dial. I need another dial. Um, and some atmospheric devices and some filters. Nice. Uh, uh, yeah, shit. Ah, uh, 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 <laughs> Oh, crap. Um, right. I shall need to, uh, it's a meter. Need one of them. Atmospherics devices. I shall need some copper. Uh, that's not a copper. So I shall need four of them, uh, which is all I can build. And the filters to go in it. Just still trying very hard. Um, turn around. Yeah, that's sweet FA in there. And we're actually cooling it down now. Um, that's super importantly. We've got to paint it. Now! Oof. Um, I had to find the filters. Uh, one, two, three. Steel. And CO2. Right, so I'll just shut you off for now. Um, you. You. No. No. Now, I don't suppose I've got any carbon dioxide in here. Carbon dioxide, look at that. 
nitrogen, nitrous, nitrogen. Wow, I've really got a thing for nitrous and nitrogen. Yep. So I need three of them for of the pollutant. As soon as I print them out, I'll probably find a heap of them in here. Yep. Uh, you. Uh, and you're ready. Boop. Carbon dioxide. Yeah, I probably should put a little filter checker on there as well, shouldn't I? Uh, I really only need one in each, don't I? Okay. Now, you can switch on. Now it's dropping down pretty quick. Oh. Uh, we do have Okay, yes, that's settled down to the right mix now. It's properly calculating that. I probably have a division by zero error on there. I'll have to look at. Wow, the duty cycle on that is not much. It's just on for one tick. That's it. <laughs> and these things are all running full speed. <laughs> I'm going to need a crap load more of them. Or if I can just get um, uh, medium. Um, how about the heavy ones? Here we go. If I get Elmo's uh, uh, atmospherics uh, mod to be working. I think there has been an update on the loader, which I've just been too uh, lazy to uh, install. Um, I think the filters function very, very quickly. So uh, I may be able to, if I get that one installed, I may be able to process this gas a lot quicker. Holy crap, I'm going to need a ton of these things. Already up to a megapascal on that. You're not exactly going down in a hurry. Yeah, you're still going up. <laughs> Crap. Um, right. Ah. Oh, okay. So I need more atmospherics. I'm going to have to upscale this thing quite considerably. Ah, damn it. Uh, so duty cycle is only flicking on every couple of seconds. So um, I'm going to need you know, to, have to at least triple that, maybe more. Uh, well, maybe that's it. That's what we got to do. <laughs> um, right, so that's going to be a lot of atmospherics and a lot of filters. Uh, right, now that thing should be going full speed. And just the flashes of fuel. Although I could run a heap of sterlings off this 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 heat as well, and then um and then pump all that back into uh, another set of nitrolyzers, which will get me more fuel than the one over here. 
which is still only just well that one's actually ticking on more a bit more often now so the fuel is on all the time that one there the fuel is only switching on and off and i can't get the uh, gas out quick enough ah damn it well shit <laughs> I didn't do as much today as I was hoping to do. I thought that would have been the maybe hook up a couple of things and that would have been it, but um no. But look at all the mushrooms. Wow. I still got a heap more hydroponics to put down as yet. Uh get another couple of rows on there. Put in the top story there, another couple of rows there. I could even go up for another row higher. <laughs> I didn't get through the plant torture chambers. Um, how do we go with our atmosphere? Uh, no, nope, we're still good. Switch that off. Uh, let's run downstairs and have a look at the scoreboard. Now we're dumping out a heap of extra CO2, although we only just started doing that. So we got uh, three of them running full time, uh, minus 76.7. It is getting colder. Okay, we are tight. Oh, nice. Nice. Um, what did we say it was? 76.70. Um, 76.7. Come on, you. 76.70 minus. And our pressure, our pressure's gone up. That's, that's something. Another five days and uh, we've gone up, ooh, what's that, 18? Well, that's a lot better. Last five days we only got, we got 12, now it's 18. And we've only just started pumping out the CO2. Um, yeah. Oh, uh, well, that's still 20,000 to go. But anyway, uh, that might be what we've got time for. Any grass seeds? Did I get any grass seeds? I probably don't really need them. Holy crap. Um, look, see, we've got portable tanks. We suddenly got a random number that says it's portable tanks and <laughs> conveyors. Conveyors. More conveyors. Um, And see more tanks. Ooh, what's that? Oh, plant analyzer. Got one of them. More glasses. Ooh, batteries. I'll take them. Ah, lots of batteries. More shrooms. Uh, take them. More tablets. Uh, nada. Another tablet. Uh, backpack. Rice pudding. Blah. Cook soybeans. Double blah. Uh, oh, there's another helmet. Hey, I can finish up another suit. Uh, no. Oh, some tanks and a furnace. <laughs> now that I've made them, thank you. Thank you very much. That's, uh, that's very good of you. Uh, well, I'll have a dig through that. But uh, that's about it for today. So, till next time, happy building. See ya.